we're going to dive into our first example where we combine data from multiple data sources. We'll look at it two ways, first with a script and then with a script view. So I know all of you have data really kind of all over the place. Um, we no longer have the luxury of just having our data on the IBMI. You might have SQL servers, Oracle, <clears throat> who knows what you've got out there. And if you need to ever compare the data when it's on different servers, whether it's comparing it, joining it, or merging it together, like with a union, you've got to get that data on the same server. We cannot query um, data that is on different servers. And the best way to do that is inside of a, a script view. Now, the first step is to bring the data look, you know, to, to a location. In my example here, I've got data sitting on an SQL server database, and I also have a file over on the IBMI. And I need to join those together to complete my request. My first execute statement in the script is going to go out to that SQL server database. In my case, it's named AbleCorp, and so I just fill in that server parameter on the execute command. And I'm using just a quick SQL statement because I want to select all the fields, all the records from the CustMass file over there. And I bring them back here, back locally to the IBMI in an out file in QTemp that I create. I can then use that file in, the, in my script, and it remains a script because the next command is a display. And I'm picking on my select clause both fields from the work file I just brought over as well as a file that's on the IBMI. I'm going to join it together and then I can display this. So when I run this script, I get a display. The problem is, is that sometimes you want a display, but sometimes you might want to email those results. If you kept it as a script, you would have to create two different scripts with different commands um, at the end there. And that's the beauty of a script view, and they're, it's a very subtle difference. The only difference is the last command in the script view becomes an SC return. This is a SQL command, and what that allows us to do is to be dynamic in the run options at runtime. And that's what we mean by it's a script that acts like a view, and it's the that SC return that turns your script into a script view and gives you in viewpoint or wherever you run this request from the options just like a view. If you take a look at a viewpoint explorer list um, under type, you'll see that we do make a distinction between script views and scripts. They do have a slightly different type. And just so you know, the P at the end means there's prompts or variables in that script. <clears throat> 